Okay, so let's talk about cold frames and low tunnels first. So cold frames, they've been used for thousands of years by gardeners all over the world. And they were pretty necessary to provide food in the winter when we didn't have refrigeration or trucks to haul food from different regions. So a cold frame is a simple structure that protects the garden plants from the extreme winter weather. It's a simple box that sits on top of the ground and has a translucent top on it to let in the light and the warmth. The purpose of the cold frame is to reduce the climatic stress of winter. So a cold frame, it will collect heat and raise the night temperatures inside. And the cold frame is going to protect your plants from too much moisture in the soil from the rain or the snow. And the cold frame will also protect the plants from wind chill, which it affects the plants just like it affects us. So it drops our temperature when the wind blows too, too much and too cold on us. Uh, the cold frame walls, they can be made of wood, straw bales, log, concrete. Uh, metal is okay, but it doesn't have the insulation value that the others do. And the light on top is made out of something translucent like glass or plastic or fiberglass. Or there's a new product called Solar Wrap at Johnny's, uh, the web, uh, Johnny's Seed Catalog. Pretty, pretty neat looking stuff. So the typical size is uh, 4 feet wide and 8 to 12 feet long, with the long side running east and west. And what that does is, it's, it's like these beds here, our long sides running east to west, so the south sun can come in across that long side. Okay, and it's typically 12 inches in the back and 8 inches in the front, so that tips that glass just a little bit to the south. And if you're using wood, you want to make sure to use untreated wood, because a treated wood could um, put some chemicals in your soils. Okay, so this is Elliot Coleman's Four Season Harvest book. We introduced you to this a few weeks ago. And I just want to show you his cold frame design because this is super, super simple. This is a four by eight um, cold frame. And it's 12 inches tall in the back and eight inches tall in the front. And the short side, the eight inch side would be the south and the 12 inch side would be the north. And then he also had a very simple uh, this is his venting system. He's got these this board with notches in it to be able to lift that up and vent it. And I just want to show you one design that you could do uh, for your cold frame. So the cold frames, they can collect a lot of heat in the fall and the spring, and they're going to require some venting. And through the dark period, which is November 15th to February 1st, um, very little venting will be needed. But I just want you to be aware of the temperatures that are happening inside your cold frame. So you're going to want to keep the day temperatures under 75 degrees. And you'll want to close it up for the night at least two hours before the sun sets to retain some of the heat through the night. So the reason for this is the cold weather plants have the ability to create extra sugars that will travel in their veins and it'll act like antifreeze. So that the plants are in their summer cycle, they are not reacting to the cold and don't have their antifreeze going. They could be more susceptible to the frost. Okay. If the plants are grown colder, then they will take the frost better because they will have more sugars in their veins and they'll be prepared to get frozen. So the coldest I've taken a lettuce plant that was pickable and thawed is down to 12 degrees and the plants were prepared for the cold because they had been exposed to the colder temperatures and the sugar content, also known as bricks, was way higher in the leaves. So I have a picture of a lettuce plant that I uncovered this morning. Uh, we were down to 15 degrees last night. It had the frost blanket on it. And I uncovered it. I took a picture of it while it was frozen, and I will show that to you. And then I also have a picture of it like an hour later after it thawed out. It's ready to pick, it's ready to go. So it's pretty neat what the plants can endure as far as the cold. Now, a warm weather plant, it'd have been mush. To learn lots more about easy productive gardening, tune into the High Performance Garden Show. You don't want to miss out. The show features a 128 square foot vegetable garden that can produce over $2,500 worth of garden fresh veggies 
with only a 15 minute a day commitment. And we'll show you everything that we do in that garden for a 33 week growing season. Along with the upcoming season, you can also watch the last two seasons. That's over 110 hours of gardening education, totally for free. Soon we will be starting the next season, which will provide you with 33 more weekly episodes to get you even more garden tips and techniques on how to grow a high performance garden in your backyard. Sign up today, start learning. It's totally free. Start your garden season off right by going to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. Until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.